What's up, everyone? I'm Coach D. So I'm coming to you guys from my car today because i um, got a break in between my classes. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the debate tonight before um, before it happens. So wanted to get your thoughts on what you think will happen in the debate. Does anything in the debate change your mind? Are you even going to change your mind? Or is it just, just a formality for you to see what's going to be said um, by Donald Trump and Kamala Harris? Um, personally, for me... I think um, I already know what each candidate stands for. Obviously, I'm supporting Kamala Harris um, because I just think that she's the better person for the job. Listening to her policies, um, I really think that she's on point. Um, I personally don't think that Donald Trump is fit for this position at all. Listening to some of his um, his his arguments or his his you know explanations for things you know that that debacle of a question when they asked him about child care and how he never answered that question um you know when he talks about um electric vehicles he talks about how like these batteries won't be made here they'll be made in china and my thing is is why aren't we trying to get ahead of that um instead of us trying to be a country that is not embracing electric cars why are we not trying to do that? And I think Kamala Harris is more likely to want to embrace that and say, you know what, we've been dependent on foreign oil for all these years. We've been dependent on oil and fossil fuels for all these years. If we can depend more now on on, you know, cleaner energy batteries for these um, electric vehicles, these are the future. Um, you know, people are starting to move that way. Why are we not embracing it? So I think that's important. Obviously, I I agree with, you know, giving women the right to choose. Um, I think that, you know, the tax credits that she wants to give to actual common people, you know, continuing the, the paying off student loan debt, um, trying to get to free and affordable health care. Um, these are things that I care about. I care about the common man, the common woman, the common family who is just trying to, you know, get by and everything. I want to see things easier for them. So there's not anything. I mean, if I, if I'm giving my prediction on what's going to happen tonight, it's going to be like every other debate that Donald Trump is ever in. You're going to see him, you know, try to insult Kamala Harris. You're going to see him, you know, bring up things that are not important. He's going to talk about elections being stolen. He's going to talk talk about everything being rigged. The courts are rigged against him. The the elections are rigged against him. You know, th this debate is rigged against him. I mean, we know what he's going to say. There's nothing that's going to change my mind because I know what Kamala Harris stands for. I know what she's going to say as well. But I just want to get your thoughts. So what do you think is going to happen in the debate? Does any of this change your mind? Is it just a formality? Are you just happy to see her on stage against him in this format um, that, that we get to see. Um, because personally, I just think that right now what Democrats are trying to do for people is much better. You know, on the Republican side, you have them wanting to stop everything. They want to stop women from being able to choose. They want to stop, you know, um, people's relationships from being happy. They want to send people back to, you know, their, their, their countries where they came from. They don't want to give people asylum and things like that. It just seems to be a party of stop and going back. And I do agree with Kamala Harris that we are not going back, period.